It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to Research Methodology course. This course is offered by Faculty of Foreign Languages, Ho Chi Minh City, University of Technology and Education. It is now the second semester of the academic year 2019-2020. The course is free credit point and the prerequisite of the course is writing file. My name is Tin and I'm going to be with you during the course. Let's have a look at the overview of the course. This is an advanced course for research assessing and reporting in the area of applied linguistics. It supports students to acquire research literacy, particularly the principles of qualitative and quantitative research methodologies. Students are introduced to various research genres and required to evaluate actual research studies. They need to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of different research models employed in specific situations and other possible alternatives. Hands-on experience of research procedure within Practical scenarios is also provided throughout the course for students to flexibly utilize and appropriately justify a research model for their own research. The course provides a comprehensive overview of research paradigms for different methodologies, including narrative, ethnography, case study, correlational study, and experimental research. The course develops students' capability of independence in research activities and empowers their engagement in the academic community. This course has six learning outcomes. Specifically, upon completing the course, Students are expected to be able to demonstrate understandings of qualitative and quantitative research methodology principles in applied linguistics. They are expected to be able to evaluate actual studies by specifying their strengths and weaknesses in relation to different research model options. Students are expected to be able to justify the appropriateness of a research method in a specific area and distinguish it from other methods in relevant areas of the same field. Students are expected to be able to critique on credibility of published research reports, develop a comprehensive critical review on the research methods and designs employed in a particular topic of interest in an area of applied linguistics in relation to the findings identified in this body of literature. The students are expected to be able to work with colleagues on research project discussions and collaboration. This course uses seven books as the key materials. The first one that I would like to introduce to you is the one written by Lewis, Lawrence, and Keith. We will use this one as the textbook for the course. The second one is about this course analysis. This is a very useful reference for anyone interested in this course. The next one that I would like to introduce to you is the one written by John Creswell, a very famous author on research methodology. You will be able to see very specific procedures of planning, conducting, and evaluating research. The next one is about research methodology in applied linguistics 
and second language research written by Susan and Allison. These are very famous authors in applied linguistics and second language research. The next one is about grounded theory in applied linguistics research. This one is very useful for anyone who would like to go into the area of grounded theory uh, for their research career. The next one is a handbook and it is fairly easy for you to go through. There are very practical techniques that you can use for your research. And finally, it is an encyclopedia, a very good reference for anyone working in the area of applied linguistics. Now, it is the assessment section, and I think that most of you should be interested in it. During this course, the students need to demonstrate evidence that they have read and talked about the course materials and are willing to share their understandings and questions with their friends. The students are assessed for their performance in quiz, research analysis, instrument critique, and a written report on data collection and analysis. For all the details of these assignments, please refer to the course outline. And finally, it is a list of topics that we are going to discuss in this course. In the first half of the course, we will have a look at an overview of qualitative and quantitative research approaches. In the second half of the course, we will look at specific types of research. That's all for the course introduction. Thank you very much for your attention. Welcome to the course and I hope that you will be able to enjoy it.